In this demonstration, we're going to show some more advanced barcode indexing using the driver's licenses documents from the Capture Pro uh, demo document set. There are two driver's licenses that are card stock that are located in the uh, demo document set. To start out, I'm going to click on the New Batch button and select the job called PDF Licenses. I'm going to click OK. Now again, notice that when I select this job, the screen layout changes to match what makes sense for this PDF licenses job. And that's a key productivity feature of Capture Pro to be able to have a custom screen layouts that make sense for particular jobs. Also notice that the page setup automatically changes to what was last used for this job. We save the page setups uh, at the, the job level that was last used, which again helps when uh, somebody is uh, switching back and forth between scanning jobs. The cardstock driver's licenses are challenging documents to scan, but with Kodak scanners, with our Kodak 1220 and 1320 scanners, as well as our, our ScanMate scanner, they are not challenging. We have a very uh, nice uh, feeding mechanism for these type of, of documents. And I can actually press the scan button first and then load the, the documents in the scanner for these type of cardstock smaller documents. In this demonstration, you you'll notice a few things. First of all, we, we did barcode indexing on the fly uh, during scanning. And the barcode that's being read is a PDF 417 barcode, which is a two-dimensional barcode that can contain lots of metadata, up to like thousands of characters can be contained in a single barcode. In this demonstration, you'll notice that Capture Pro software was able to read all of that data and parse it out into the individual index fields. And it did this without custom programming or scripting. Through the end user interface and job setup, I can very quickly parse out the individual pieces of metadata into their separate index fields. There were 14 index fields that were indexed on the fly during scanning. So again, we're not only showing the images, but we're also showing the index data. So from a quality assurance standpoint, the end user can ensure that their images are of high quality and that the index data was in fact read. We also did a document separation based on the presence of a barcode. Now the other thing we did is this barcode was found on the rear of the page. So can Capture Pro software, I expect the barcode to be on the front or on the rear. And because with Kodak scanners we have the concept of a page and a front and rear, we're able to keep both of these pages together, perform the barcode reading on the rear and do a, a document separation. Now another aspect of this is the page setup called licenses was configured for dual stream scanning or simultaneous color and black and white scanning. And what's great about this is we actually use the black and white image to perform the accurate and fast barcode reading and then in the page setup we configured the software to discard the black and white images so we only kept the color images which are what's going to be needed in the, the downstream imaging system. So f as you can see, it was very fast. 14 index fields on the fly during scanning, parsed out into the separate pieces of metadata from a single barcode found on the rear of this document. And now what we're going to do is we're going to output this into searchable PDF, which is one of the standard output capabilities at, at no extra cost that we have in Capture Pro software. So I'm going to click on the output button, which is the checkered flag, and perform the output. In Capture Pro software, all output is done in the background, so an end user can continue to scan new batches of documents while the output processing is taking place. The output was here was written in searchable PDF, written to a directory called Batches Pro, and the, the batch I just scanned in was batch 19 here. To take advantage of searchable PDF processing, I'm going to start up the, the Adobe Reader and show you some of the retrieval capabilities that because I output in searchable PDF that I can perform. So I'm going to go uh, and actually open up the Adobe Reader. I'm going to find that here. Okay, there's my Adobe Reader. And what I can do is I can go to the Edit menu and do a search. 
Now in the search setup window, I can say I want to search for a particular text in all documents, in all PDF documents that are located in a particular directory. In this case, I'm just going to navigate right to the output directory. For this particular job, I've stored all my PDF documents for my licenses. I'm going to click on Browse for Location. And I'm going to indicate that it's my C drive in the Batches Pro directory, because that's where I have done all my output. And then I can search for a particular phrase or text. So I'm going to type in 123 here and do a search. And you'll see that I have two hits in my search results. The, the first one happens to be the driver license ID for Charlotte Best. So it, if I click on that, it'll then automatically navigate and display the image and the, the spot on that image where I found that text. So again, I'm taking advantage of being able to do searchable PDF output to be able to find pieces of metadata in my scanned documents from Capture Pro software. So I'm using the combination of Capture Pro and the very nice searching capabilities of the uh, Adobe Reader. And that's it for, for this demonstration.